In this lecture, I will show you how to make a cool transition, how to use it in a video, and even how to reveal two videos by matting this transition. Hello and welcome in this lesson. As you can see on the timeline, I have here two videos. These are simple videos, and let's say this is a project you are making, and you would like to have a transition between them. I will show you how to make a transition with the morphing shape technique. I press Ctrl N and I make a really short composition. Let's make it two seconds. Okay, now I will work on the transition I want to make. At first, I'll open up some guides. I can open, for example, the title action save, so I'll have some grid here. Now, I'll press Ctrl R to open up the rulers. I'll pick a ruler because I want to have one guide in the middle. To make it perfectly in the middle, I come closer with the scroll wheel and I place it exactly in the middle. I press on my pen tool, I have a red color selected, this is alright, and I'll start to draw. I draw something like this by holding the shift key, you can do the same, please go above the fold, so you are a bit more far away than here. Now I go down, I go in the middle, oh sorry I didn't press the shift, I place it in the middle, I place it here, and I close the entire thing down. Now I have to move this point to the middle, this is no problem, I just grab it, I move it, and everything should be okay. Alright, I open up the shape layer, my content, my shape, and of course my pet number one. Right at the beginning, I want my first keyframe. Alright, I have my keyframe, I go with the page down key, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames forward, and I want to grab this point and start transitioning into the design. I have to select the pad. Well, this is easier, I just make a new point, delete this point and select this point and I have this one now selected. Now I can start working. At this position, 5 frames forward, I want the transition to be about to this place. Now I go again, 1, 2, 3, maybe 3, maybe 5, let's stay with 5 and I go 5 frames forward. I select the outer point and I place them like that, just to have some fun. If you want to be a real nerd, please open up the guides, an exact grid, and you can be pixel perfect here. I'm doing this really quick, so I won't be pixel perfect right now. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames forward, and I place this on the bottom. Now the edges are not covered, so I go 1, 2, 3, 3 frames forward, so the edges are perfectly matched. Now what did I create? I have a really simple transition and I see it's a bit too quick. So I select all keyframes, I press the left alt or option key and I drag them out a little bit. After Effects is automatically spacing between them. Now I hit right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease and let's preview the animation. Let me deselect the grid because it's a bit disturbing for the eye. Okay. I have a really nice simple transition. Now once we are here, again a few frames forward because we want only to transition. Transition in and transition out. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames forward with the page down key. I have to make a new point here, for example if I want the animation to be like that. And I start dragging it down. I drag it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this will be a bit shorter like that, like that, one, two, three, three frames forward and our transition is for now prepared. I could take it and use it as a ready transition. To spice it just a little bit up, I select the shape layer, I press Ctrl D or Command D if you are on Mac to duplicate this layer. Now I want to stagger this layer by, for example, three frames. I hit the left Alt key and now I press page down. If you are pressing page up and page down, only the timer is shifting. If you press alt or option key, the entire layer is shifting. One, two, three. Okay, I have the second layer selected. Let me select another color, maybe a darker red. I can for example only adjust the brightness, like this. One more time, control D, left alt, one, two, three, four, five. I hope this will all look okay. I select the fill again, brightness a little bit down. Okay, basically I have my transition prepared. Let's preview it by hitting the spacebar. 
well, nothing too fancy, it looks okay, I can use it. So in the place where I have the videos, and I would like to transition between them, I can use my new composition. It was called Composition 2. Let me be a little bit more professional here and press Ctrl or Command K. Transi transition red. I go to the first composition and I can select the transition and place it here exactly in this place. Now watch how I can transition between those two videos with my new animation. Just like that, we use the shape morphing to create a nice transition. And please don't be concerned that I'm using After Effects CC here. In CS6, everything is the same as before. So let me show you the last really awesome trick here. I don't want this reveal to happen like that because the red isn't working here. I would like that the second video is revealing the first video. To do this, it's really, really simple. Just place this second video here it can be exactly here or depending on what animation you want. Maybe the first part won't be visible, but this reveal, the second reveal will be visible. And I press on the second video and I select track mat, alpha mat, transition red. If you don't see the track mat, press F4 or here on the bottom, you have the buttons to enable certain options. All right, watch now what happens. I have my transition, I press space, and the new video is revealed like that. I should duplicate this layer, put it on the bottom and make this layer shorter. Maybe pressing Alt and the right bracket key. Now everything would work perfect. I would have the transition. I should of course select no track mat. Now I select this video. I crop it to this point and watch my end result. I have the animation. The video is nicely revealing and the video continues on. Of course, I have the placing now wrong. I should start before this black appears. I should make it like this. Exactly. And now everything is done properly. I have a nice little transition between those videos. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you expand this morphing shapes technique.